here I am at Birch's Brook just before it joins the River Amber or at least tries to join it there's a massive blockage there under this quite large culvert now this is two culverts uh, the other one is behind that big tree trunk over there you can see there are two culverts there that feed into this um, rain um, storm drains and then if we go to the other side of this culvert that I'm on you see it is it is making its way through but it's very still so it's not coming through quickly and then on the second culvert which is over here and has a massive hole in the ground it's down there somewhere the other side that I've just shown you but the other side of it where it should be coming out it has not come out for a very long time that's the river down there the rest of Birch's Brook all oh, this sediment where there's just been no water going through and then just this pool of water that's just obviously getting through somehow. Well, looks like there's a load of mosquitoes in there. And it's fascinating because the road always floods here. It's always flooding. All of the drains are in that green triangle in the middle. Sort of one over there somewhere, and then kind of on each corner as well. But this area always floods, that field over there always floods, and then over there, that field also floods. But traveling along the side of that field is the River Amber, and then they join the River Amber and Birch's Brook joined just sort of behind those trees there, not far away. So yeah, I don't know if this block culvert has anything to do with the flooding on the road, but it certainly isn't doing the job that it's meant to do as it is. This is a little way just from where we were, upstream Birch's Brook. See, it's quite low at the minute, it's 20 degrees today. Falling down log there looks pretty new. I suspect that will either cause some problems or it might create a pool back there for some fresh river fish. Let's hope it's the latter. Uh, yeah, nice pipe going over the top of it. And then out the other side of the bridge from where we just were, uh, you can see the water is pretty still here. Um, plain bed, not much happening at all. Wondering if there's a blockage somewhere, sort of, between here and the other side, because the other side was trickling through, and this side is standstill. So that's interesting. Okay, I'm back at the brook and I brought some essentials with me. Wellies, gloves, a trowel, you never know, and some uh, shears. We have recently had a flash flood, um, probably about three or four days ago now. And there's lots of rain on the way. There's a massive cloud on its way now, so I'm probably gonna get soaked. But I thought now is a good time to try and unblock the culvert and if I get rained on it will help see how the water flows as well um, with storm drains and anything like that. So my only concern is that I might not be able to get out. <laughs> As it's actually quite far down and it's one thing climbing down when there's a load of stuff to stand on 
but quite another getting out so um we'll see how this goes right i've made it down hopefully you can hear me okay i've got the waterproof um, the waterproof case on just in case you get dropped oh it's kind of cool so it's quite clear with the exception of this dam and the reason that I'm clearing it, other than that it, there's a blockage and it's full of rubbish, is so that fish can migrate. Um, so the freshwater fish sometimes migrate upstream, downstream, but with the barriers like this in place, um, they, they obviously can't travel. And this is the <laughs> other culvert over here. No chance. I ain't moving that by myself. So yeah, see, um, oh, my wellies haven't lasted very long. To be fair, they're from T in the Park 2010, so probably it's time for an upgrade now that I'm going to be doing more work like this. Oh, we'll have a look up there later. There's a culvert there, I can see. And these two that I showed in my last video. But well, anyway, let's get to work.
Brooklyn. So this large stick or branch appears to be blocking the rest of this so I need to clear the rest of this up, get any rubbish out before I release that branch and it can all carry on straight through there.
see the water's starting to flow now, some of the debris is going down. So my main issue really now is to make sure that no litter goes down as it starts to flow and goes into the wider stream. there now. Not much to do. That's the pile I've made. Not all of it. A lot of it was from there before. But all the wet stuff is obviously mine. Last bit.
and clear. Let's throw those bits up there. So they don't fall in. I can't move this, it's too big. Um, but I think it'll be fine. There's a culvert here, which was all backed up behind uh, all of that debris. So that probably feeds in from the road. Hopefully that'll stop the road from flooding quite as badly. I mean, there are some questionable j drains up there. Uh, these are like bone dry. So I don't know what these are all about. And considering we've had on off rain and flash flood the last few days, I'm not sure if they're in use. That was our bag of rubbish. One bag, which is quite good. I brought two with me, so we've only filled one. I'm just going to travel upstream and hope that nobody steals my bag as I'm travelling. I'm absolutely bitten by mosquitoes. So I have, I didn't have any insect repellent, so I have used lemon juice instead, which was surprisingly unstingy, made my face go a bit tight, but yeah, surprisingly good. So here's a culvert, which is operating, so that's good, it's positive, it's not black. Oh, the water's quite fast up there. See if we can have a look. See if we can get through. Should have brought my shears, but then it's me that's the intruder. So that was a stick, that's metal. I wonder if this is... Oh, no, it moves. I uh, don't know what or why that's there. Ah. Uh, now this is fab. Oh, look, litter, we'll get that. See here, the form, the form in the river. This is definitely riffles. You see how the waves are the, in the same place. That's riffles. And this is really good for fish. It oxygenates the river and, and the fish like it. So it's a good job that we've unblocked that culvert so that the fish can travel up because they will like this space. There are no pools though. Pools are um, deep sections in the water where fish can sort of hide and breed and that sort of thing. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get very far up here. It's very overgrown. Let's see. Get that bag on the way back. Oh, it's not too bad. brought my backpack with me though. It's pretty dark here now. Some more rubbish there. I'll grab that because I'll forget that one. one with nature I'm afraid. That's a shame. Here we are. Ooh. Ooh. Oh that was hard work. But here we are. Here's another culvert. Aha. I said there might be a blockage though to be fair it's very small given the absolute size of it. Let's grab that. Ew! And that. Does that 
Oh, no sleeves. All right, so this is a huge culvert and this, uh, the road runs up there. So this will be draining all of, all of the street up there. I'm not sure if this is gonna cause any problems in time. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. It's gonna be waterlogged. Uh, maybe, maybe a bit of rolling action perhaps. Let's just pop these there. It could go on to form a pool, as I said in my last video, and as I, as I also said, fish like pools where they can live, and the riffles downstream would be ideal for them. Some riffles here as well. But this, I mean, how did this get here? What's that? All? there. Oh, a lot more rubbish. You find so much of this. These plastic rubble bags. And they, there they go. They blow in from construction sites. Well, that's that's better for the fish as well. That looks like metal. It is metal. Can I throw this? Sort of. Okay, that's interesting to know anyway. What's this all about? Where did it come? Our way back. I just dropped you guys in the river. Anyway, that's us done. And all there is left for me to do is to record the culverts on an app called Amber, A M B E R. Nothing to do with the River Amber that we're talking about. Just, just an app that um, records sort of barriers that may affect the flowing, the, the free flowing of uh, fish. So that's all for me to do and job well done. Thanks for watching.